This week I'm testing the Peugeot 5008. It's a seven seat family SUV. Let's find out how good it is as a baby drive. And don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on our socials. In the back of the Peugeot 5008, there are Isofix in all three second row seat bases. They're not within plastic guides, but they're labeled and really nice and easy to connect to. There are top tether anchorages on the back of all three second row seat backs too, which is fantastic. Now all three second row seats move individually, they're three individual seats, which is great. It means I've been able to install three full size child seats in the back here. You'd actually get three forward facing or three rear facing across here and you can move them backwards and forwards individually to distribute that leg room. Now, there are no top tether anchorages in the third row seats, which means we couldn't install any child seats back there. Now to access the third row seats, you do need to remove a child seat from the second row and fold these seats forward and then you can access the third row seats. Also, the front passenger seat folds completely flat, so it's really easy for you to reach through to do up harnesses in the second row or for passengers to climb through to those second row seats. There are built-in roller blinds in the second row door windows, which is fantastic for keeping those little passengers shielded from the sun while you're driving along. When it comes to storage in the back of the 5008, there's a little cup holder that's quite small on the right hand side and there's a shelf and phone holder on both sides. In the second row there are no cup holders, however there are little net mat pockets on the back of both front seats, they'll hold but not conceal an iPad. There's also little fold down tables in the back of the front seats too. Now underneath the floor of the second row, there is actually storage hidden underneath there, which is really good for wallet and things like that when you're going to the beach and the park. Now the door bins in the back here, they will hold a large refillable water bottle and an iPad too. There's a 12 volt socket on the left hand side of the third row, as well as a 12 volt socket in the back of the central console and two USB ports for connectivity for those second row passengers. When it comes to air vents for the rear passengers, there are just some in the back of the central console for the second row passengers. There are none for those third row passengers. So you do rely on those and the vents in the front to cool the whole car down. You can control the aircon through the front media screen, which is great. Storage in the front of the 5008 is good. There are two cup holders in the central console here. They will hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup and a kid's sippy cup fits in there too. In front of them is a little well I found useful for my sunglasses because there's no holder in the ceiling. There's a wireless phone charging well in front of the gear lever and you've got a 12 volt and USB socket in there too. Now the central console box is pretty special. There's a little shelf in the top that's removable but also there is enough room in there and there's a wine bottle holder in there which is a pretty good win for mums. Now the glove box is a bit small in here, I can get my phone or wallet in there with the manual. The door bins are a good size, they'll hold a large refillable water bottle and an iPad fits in them too. Now this year's model has got some improvements. It's got a better engine and gearbox which means it uses less fuel. It's got a lot of updated safety features too which is great for families and the media screen and touch screen have been updated and they're larger too. The boot door of the 5008 opens automatically, which is really helpful when you've got kids and their things. Let's find out how much we can fit in the boot. When using all seven seats, it will hold five shopping bags, or a compact stroller and two shopping bags. When you're only using five seats, it will hold 15 shopping bags, or a twin stroller and six shopping bags, a tandem pram and eight shopping bags, a single pram and eight shopping bags, or a compact stroller and 13 shopping bags, or a large dog. So this year's 5008 has got new gearbox and engine which makes it more economical to drive. It's also got a lot more safety features in here too, which is fantastic for families. Now, I really enjoy driving the 5008. One of my favorite things is the steering wheel. Really nice and small, feels great in your hands. Now, for a seven seater, this does have good turning circle too, which makes it really nice to drive around town and the suburbs and good for school car parks and things like that too. 
You can also change the view in the dial in front of the driver so that you can have the sat nav up on the screen while you're driving along, which makes it really nice and easy to follow. The media system in the Peugeot 5008 is a little bit different to most to control and navigate. So you use these paddles down in the central console here to select the different screens. So you can do the climate within here and obviously the sat nav. And you've got a lot of options here that you can turn off parking sensors and things like that. And it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well, which is fantastic. Now, when I put it into reverse, the camera image is lovely and clear. You do get a bird's eye view as well, and you can change it to a bit wider view. However, it doesn't fill this whole screen, which is a bit of a shame, I think. And you can control the sensor noise here. So to sum up with the Peugeot 5008, it is a fantastic seven-seater family SUV. It does fit those three child seats full size across that second row and the individual seats and three Isofix are really good for families. The boot space is good, the media system is excellent and the drive is good too.